It's always exciting when we've got a brand new kite to review, and in this video, we're gonna be doing a deep dive on the 10 meter Flysurfer Sonic 4. Before we get started, it's important to mention that kite reviews are tricky because the quality of wind can greatly influence how you feel about a kite. For that reason, when we test a kite, we like to do it in a variety of conditions over multiple weeks and have our friends try the kite as well so that they can share their honest, unbiased opinions. Many of the riders in this video are already fans of the Soul or the Sonic 3, so naturally there will be comparisons to both kites throughout this video. As always, a special thanks to Silent Sports for supporting our channel and for making this review video happen. The Sonic Forest Fly Surfer's high performance foil kite meant for big air, hydrofoiling, and free ride. In our view, while the Sonic 3 was a pure performance beast that required expert level skills to handle, the Sonic 4 is basically a supercharged soul. It offers the best of both worlds performance and user friendliness. Not surprisingly, Flysurfer has designed the kite for those riders who are looking for an upgrade from the sole or who already enjoy Sonic kites and want more accessible performance. So what's changed? Well, according to Flysurfer, pretty much everything, as the Sonic 4 has a completely new design. But this shouldn't scare you as it's still a Sonic. Most importantly, the aspect ratio of the kite was slightly reduced to a range of 5.8 to 6.8 compared to the Sonic 3's aspect ratio range of 6.6 .6 to 7.2. Just like the Sonic 3, as the kite size decreases, so does the aspect ratio. Another huge change are the sizes. There's no longer a Sonic 9, 11, or 13 meter, and instead we have a Sonic 8, 10, and 12 meter. There's no more Sonic 21, but there is now a 6 meter. On the practical side, according to Flysurfer, the outline of the kite was redesigned to increase performance, improve wingtip stability, and improve launch behavior and turning. We can't really comment about the performance of Sonic 4 versus Sonic 3 as comparing a 10 meter kite size versus an older 9 or 11 meter Sonic 3 wouldn't produce an objective comparison. Same goes for turning behavior. From our test, the wingtips are as stable as the sole and will only fold if you oversteer. Other changes include the removal of mini ribs from the inside of the canopy, but they remain on the leading edge, just like the Sonic 3. There's also new adjustments on the Z main to change flight behavior. Originally, we had no idea what it was for, so we did try it on various settings. It basically changed the bar pressure from medium to high or low. After trying all three, we left it at the medium setting. The fabric appears to be the same as the Soul 2, and while we weren't crazy about the design at first, it did eventually grow on us and we liked it in the end. All right, let's get into the rider reviews. An important point to keep in mind is that none of the riders, including ourselves, knew what had been changed or had any technical info about the kite at the time of filming. So uh, I had the opportunity to uh, test out or try out the new Sonic. Uh, Sonic uh, 4 was, is, a, is a wonderful kite. It's a definite improvement uh, over the uh, two and three Sonics that I've tried. I had the pleasure to try the uh, 10 meter one here in, in Hatteras. So I've flown uh, Sol 2, Sol 3. Is there a Sol 3? <laughs> I have not been paid to do this interview. I wish I was paid to do this. If I weren't looking up at this kite, as far as the way it felt in the air, indiscernible from the Sonic 3 to me. Identical bar feel to the, the Sonic 3. So I have owned uh, Sonic 2s, Sonic 3s, I fly the 11 90% of the time, flew it all day yesterday, and then came here and flew this. So that's why I feel like the bar feel, everything seems very, very similar. Because I had the same line length too, we put 17s on today. My first impression flying the Sonic 4 was that it was actually quite stable. It almost felt like flying a sole, the tips didn't really kind of flap over. The kite flew really well, uh, which was surprising because normally when you fly a Sonic, you really have to be experienced, you need to be able to handle the kite and fly it a certain way. I must say that the modifications they've made uh, has improved in how the Sonic flies 
seems a lot more stable. I did notice that the Sonic 4 doesn't uh, collapse like the Sonic 3. Uh, I find with the Sonic 3, every now and then you see the wing tips um, collapse depending on what I'm doing. From my experience of flying Sonic 3, I found that it wasn't as forgiving in the past. So with the new model Sonic 4, if you overfly the kite, if you uh, if you're doing a back roll and you land it uh, a little bit short-sighted, that kite will forgive you. If I make a mistake, there's no consequence. The kite is not going to fall out of the sky, lose its shape or anything of that sort. So that way, Sonic 4 is way closer to Sol than to Sonic 3. And that to me is a big selling point. It is a much, much safer kite than the older Sonics. Uh, the wingtips does not collapse like the older ones do. The uh, kite really feels like a sole on steroids. Um, it's got incredible boosting and jumping and power for a 10 meter kite for a big guy like me. I would say in general less tip action, um, but it's still there. Uh, and it may just be the higher aspect kite and lighter or marginal wind. So it, that, that, that is still there, that behavior is still there, um, but not as much as a Sonic 3. It's not as stable as Sol, but it's definitely much more stable than Sonic 3. There's no wingtip collapse. I mean, you can collapse them if you oversteer it, but it will be a user error. So the tips, the tips problem is gone. Also, too, if you notice the inlets, right? On the uh, new Sonic, the inlets a little closer to the tips, right? The end ones versus the uh, Sonic 3. And um, that probably helps with uh, keeping uh, the tips get a little more stable, getting air in there a lot quicker. Be way better behaved right on the edge of marginal wind, like right at the edge of the window where the Sonic 3 will tend to taco or tip fold. Um, it still does that, but it seems to be much more forgiving that way. The, the major difference, I think, is on a loop, it has a way, way bigger power spike. Well, it has a power spike, like a sole. The Sonic doesn't. You, unless you have enough wind, you don't get any extra oomph when you loop the Sonic and the Sonic 3. This thing uh, really pulled me out of the hole, almost like a sole. If I wasn't looking up, I'd think it was a sole. And you also feel it on a down loop. Uh, even off the wind, it's got a, a, a much bigger power spike. So maybe maybe better boosting, I don't know. I didn't get to try it much with much wind. In order for me to go downwind, I had to continuously loop the kite and it was a 14 mile downwinder. And uh, I would say I did a couple hundred uh, loops with this kite and you know what? It, it loops very nice, very smooth. As, as the kite's going through the loop, but generated the, the pull that I needed when I needed it. Yeah, no, I, I really do. I'm, I'm definitely gonna get one of these, right? On this trip, I flew both a 10 meter Sonic 4 and a 10 meter Sol 2. Uh, now, when I flew the Sonic 4, it was better wind conditions. It was a really smooth uh, session. I really enjoyed it. Um, the Sonic 4 was pretty stable. The Soul 2 was also stable. I don't know if I could really tell I felt a difference. It did feel better when I flew the Sonic 4, but it was better wind conditions. So I don't know if it was the kite or if it was just the better wind. Yeah, Sonic 4 was great. Uh, it actually gives you enough time. I think it's a lot more responsive than Soul uh, when you've got some air time, when you're boosting and gives you enough time to swing the kite back and forth. The Sonic 4 launches as easily as the Sonic 3. The only thing that we noticed that was unlike the Soul is that it may take a bit longer for the wing tips to fully inflate. A solution is just to pull in the bar and backstall so the kite will open up. From our test, relaunching is noticeably improved as the new Sonic doesn't as easily bow tie compared to the previous iteration of the kite. As you saw, I dropped it in, what, five knots? It was five knots, leading edge down. It seemed to want to come off the water backwards more than, uh, than a Sonic 3. 
did the usual foil crumple, opened right up, and uh, it rolled over and uh, came right off, so uh, relaunch seemed good. The Sonic 4 is a great kite, definitely an improvement over the Sonic 3 and previous Sonics. I think that the Sonic 4 is a way more user-friendly and beginner-friendly than the Sonic 3 kite, and it's um, very forgiving um, in terms of uh, doing any back rolls or learning new, new things with it. It would be a lot more uh, of a bigger bang for your buck, for sure. It really does feel a quarter of the way toward a sole from from Sonic like just just a little bit toward that behavior like the power the power spike on a loop um, the, the the more stable tips if the design point was to make it more like a sole it's uh, I think I think that's achieved it's it's just a little less uh, racy than than the uh, Sonic 3. The modifications do that they've made to the new Sonic 4 does still let's call it adhere to the style of the Sonic, right, uh, model, right? They haven't veered away too, too far away from it. In fact, they've improved it. In the past, I always told myself I would not buy a Sonic because of my age and kiting style, but I would definitely consider the Sonic 4. If you're a Sonic uh, flyer, the new Sonics, I like it, I really do. So there you have it, our review of the 10 meter Fly Surfer Sonic 4. Let us know in the comments below what you think and if you're excited to try this kite. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.